So Ben, we started off November, uh, Leicester, a 4-1 win when we came from behind. Is that a highlight from the team's perspective so far this season? Because it was a really good performance, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was a good performance. I think, like, if you look at the previous games that we played, um, and how much we've come on since like the first sort of game that we had in pre-season, it shows a lot of improvement. We obviously then um, played Maidenhead, uh, like a National League side, tough test, a one-one draw. When you come up against these men's sides, you have to approach the game differently, or how, how do you kind of go about it? I mean, the physical side to it obviously is much. Uh, harder compared to when we play the academy teams but I enjoy playing against the men's sort of team if you like and uh, when you, after, like when we do come up against teams like Leicester I think the, um, it like, helps us it becomes much easier During those games against like Maidenhead do you do you approach them differently to, from a tactical perspective because when you play Leicester the game's going to be a bit more technical isn't it? Yeah I think um, obviously Leicester will try and uh, play out uh, Maidenhead not so much it'll be more of a like a long ball type thing so to play against two different types of teams as well it's obviously they're good for us and you described yourself as a ball playing centre half when you first came in yeah so you've had those, those tests with the, the more physical battles as well as the ball playing against the likes of Chelsea and that was a, a 2-1 defeat but it was a good performance wasn't it yeah, I mean, I come from like that sort of uh, category one academy football, so I'd say I do that to play football. And to be honest, I thought I did struggle playing against the men's teams when I first sort of came in. But even like from myself and my own point of view, I think I've improved massively since I've come here. When you say you've improved massively, is that a case of just just settling, maybe just relaxing a bit more? You're not kind of worrying too much, or? Um, bit of both. I mean, I wasn't fit. Um, definitely like nowhere near as far as I am now. Uh, the lads and everything were always brilliant when I first came in, so there was no problems with that. Neil talks about fitness. He said he, he runs you yeah. hard, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Uh, but he gets the best out of us, so I can't complain. Obviously, you picked up a little knock because so you missed the last two games against Eastley and Watford. How are you now? Are you kind of progressing well? Yeah, I, hopefully I get some minutes against Arsenal on Thursday or whenever it is. Do you feel the would you feel the team is in a good place at the moment with that particularly that win over Watford? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I uh, obviously I didn't play, but looking back and watching the game, you can see all the lads were like bang on it. And just um, obviously, you spent so much time at United. Obviously, two completely different clubs. What comparisons can you make in terms of the similarities that you've experienced? Um, it's a difficult one to be fair. I think the style of play um, is similar. I think we do try and play football. Obviously, we always try to play football at United. Um, I think the standards that the clubs both set are both very high in like off the field things in terms of like what you'd expect from the players off and on the pitch. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a few things. Yeah, it's good. A lot of the boys say that no matter what at Brentford, they're going to push you to try and become the best player you can be. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've, I've never been pushed like this before since I, I signed here. And I um, feel better for it. It's much better. Is that what you're enjoying most about the club? What other things do you like? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a whole different experience for me. I didn't think it was going to be like this. And um, I'm glad it is, yeah. You're in London, although you, obviously you're, you're restricted with the lockdown and things like that, but yeah. you enjoy, enjoy kind of being away from home. Um, yeah, obviously there's nothing really at home apart from friends and family anyway, which I can't really see because of the lockdown. Uh, but uh, yeah, London is different, but I'm enjoying it, yeah, it's good. Who do you kind of have most like a positive relationship with in in the group? Do you kind of stick together with defenders? Or? Um, well, I know, I've obviously known Max for, for ages, so I get on with Max really well. But I'd say, yeah, me and Kane get on well, obviously play at the back together. And I think you can sort of tell by the way that uh, we've been playing with each other the last few weeks. That must help in terms of just the, the communication aspect of it, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, Kane's like, he's a good captain as well. He doesn't show up talking. It's, it's good to have him next year. And obviously about a month to go to Christmas, we'll go into a, another busy period with lots of games coming up. Are you looking forward to seeing how this team is going to evolve over the next month? 
yeah, I think uh, it's going to be a good test for us, but I think we'll definitely get some wins in them, uh, in them games. I just can't see why we can't win all of them. I think they're good. Because it seems like, particularly with that group, you all you demand a lot of yourself, but you, you demand a lot of each other as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if, if one of us isn't on it, we'll all just sort of not get on to him, but like you're saying, like, come on, uh, get up for it type thing.